G'day ladies and gentlemen, Budget here and welcome back to another Minecraft mod review. In this one, as you probably can quite clearly see, I'm looking at the Field Viewer mod, or some people are calling it the Hologram mod. Now, the reason why this, some people are calling it the Hologram mod, because basically what this mod does is it gives you a hologram projection of the area you're in, in a 32 by 32 square, and it also goes from where you're standing all the way down to bedrock as well. And it shows you the ores, uh, stone, everything that you want to see there underneath from where you are. Again, as I said, in the 32 by 32 projection. And that is so cool. So first thing we're going to look at is, as you can see in the hot bar, I do have a couple of items. This is the field viewer itself, as you can see, quite clearly uh, moving around there on the sand there. Now I've got a couple of different wands. Now these are the uh, there's a lapis wand, as a clear. This one here is the clear lapis, and this one is the power lapis wand. So let's just quickly open up these and show you the basic recipes for these things first. And that is this is the recipe for the field viewer, and it is a block of diamonds, and then a couple of diamonds on either side of it, a nether brick, and a and a uh, stone block is what's required to make the field viewer. So it's not a cheap recipe, but uh, it's very much well worth it. The second, the uh, other three things we'll look at is the wands, and I'll show you what these things do in a minute, but it's a quick look at the recipe. Just for the normal lapis wand, it's just a couple of sticks and a block and a block of lapis. And then you've got the clear lapis wand, which is the same recipe, but with a couple of blocks of glass on either side of the lapis block. And then, of course, you've got the power lapis wand, which is the exact same recipe again, but rather than glass this time, he's got some redstone on either side of the lapis. Cool. So, yeah, the first thing, once you've done, you've placed this down on the ground, you want to get either one of the clear, uh, either the uh, lapis wand or the clear lapis wand. And the difference between the two is, I'll quite quickly show you, all you could do to use it is just right click, if you do it once rather than double click. And I'll just place this block of sand down here so you can stand up and have a look. There you go. It gives you a holographic projection of the surrounding area that I'm in. And as you can see, I just took the uh, place to some cobblestone there to go to the uh, end width of the area there so I could see how far it actually went. And it is a 32 by 32. I did count it out. So there you go. That's what the, uh, just the lapis wand will do that. But if you use the clear lapis wand on, on, the, on this thing, as you can see, definitely see the difference. It's now removed all your, just your common surface, i.e. your sand, your dirt, your water, and your stone. Uh, you can see the cobblestone remains, and we've got some ice there, got snow, and there's the leaves and the wood. And you can also just see it here as well, you've got a bit of the uh, this orange here. That is actually some uh, iron. So, yeah, that's what this mod will do. So you can uh, definitely see the difference between these two things here. So again, just the normal lapis will show you everything. Just the, But the clear lapis wand will show you just the basically the ores and any non-common thing like sand and dirt and things like that. All right, so once you've actually got your uh, base one you want to deal with, you then use the third wand. Now, this is the powered lapis wand, and all you do is just simply right-click. Now, as you can see, we've actually gone now underground. What we're looking at here is uh, some coal, and there's some iron, and I'm guessing there's probably some cobblestones. There might actually be a, 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 a spawner over there, I think, but uh, that's that's pretty cool. And But if you want to go back to the being able to see all the different, uh, all the stone and everything as well, you just swap just get back onto the normal lap, uh, yeah, the lapis wand, and just right click, and you can now see this has dropped down a level, or it's gone down to eight levels, because you can see it counts down eight, so gone eight levels below where we're standing, and that's what you can do. So that's what the powered wand just takes you down a level each time, and if you want to just get rid of all the stone, just swap between the uh, the, the uh, lapis wand and the clear lapis wand. So there you go. Now it makes it a lot easier to see where all the ores are. And we'll go down, so there we go, we've got some, ooh, got some lapis there, we've got some gold, as look by the looks of it. And, ooh, look at this, we've hit uh, rock bottom here, by the looks of it, that is actually bedrock. And we've got some diamonds. <laughs> that is cool. Just go back onto the other one, just so you can see what it looks like if you go into this mode. So there you go. Alright, now once you get to the bottom and you right click on it, with the powered lapis wand, it gets rid of the map entirely. But then if you actually then use one of these other mods to bring up the map, there is nothing there. It will not bring it up. What you've got to do is just use a pickaxe, break it off, 
and then you can replace it again, and then you can bring up your map again. So once you hit uh, Bedrock, the map will disappear, and you've got to replace the uh, field viewer. But uh, yeah, so there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is the field view. This is the field viewer mod. It is an unbelievably epic mod. It's definitely worth checking out. You can certainly see the projection. It's just cool. That is just so cool. Oh, in case you're actually wondering too, that red block. I do have a uh, brick block over there. That's what that red obviously stands for. <laughs> So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Definitely go check it out. The link for this mod will be in the description. Uh, the page is in Japanese, so, you know, it's, but it's not that hard to actually work out. Just scroll down, you'll find the link for it. And the other thing is also, when you do install the mod, it will be in Japanese, regardless of what la your language is currently set at. But all you've got to do is just open up the language menu and just change it back into your respective language, and you'll be fine. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's it. Uh, I'm done. So definitely check this mod out. It is definitely worth it. The link for it will be in the description. And yeah, so that's it. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that cool stuff. And until next time, as always, keep cool, keep safe, and I'll catch you around. Goodbye.